Oh, the Hennessy Gold Cup is next, a three mile two foot on grade three handicap, one of my favourite races of the season. And the lineup at the top four Joshua Sutherland, My Place Later Days, and Canting Win for James Shea, Hamley Darren Thompson, Smell of Victory Leon Van Rensburg, Queen of the Night, and Scally Owen for John Morgan, Bring Me Luck, Graham Clutterbuck, Sierra Vista Medusa, Vinnie Gerard, Activist Leon Van Rensburg, Mallorca Dream, David Hooley, Games Without Frontier for Padraig Hogan, Uptown Lady, Jim Murray, Blossom World, David Hooley. Keep the contract. Craig Beck with Nicholas Silver, Martin Lidham, Silent Voices, Graham Clutter, Finding Alice, Martin Lidham, Sizing or Sizzling Tail for Paul Parsons and Nina Dimaguro, Padre Hogan. Big field as it should be, and then away and racing. Uh, have we got a pair of John Morgan front runners to turn this into a stiff test? The first fence is a ditch, and they've all got to the other side of it safely. And Queen of the Night is in the lead, but not going quite as fast. As a lot of those John Morgan front runners do. One wants to go quicker still on the inside is Uptown Lady. Jim Murray's great. And they get over the second and they're all over that one okay with size in tail. Just a back marker I'd say at the moment. But it's Queen of the Night who's going to lead them into the third. Probably a couple of lengths clear. Of Uptown Lady over the far side second. Then in third place is Games Without Frontier and then Scalio in his fourth. With Bring Me Luck and Havily next, then my place later daisies after that one. It's towards the back, sizzling tail. There's just three or four lengths of drift off the rest of them as they take the fourth with Finding Alice and Smell of Victory also towards the back, but a long, long way to go yet. And Queen of the Night leads the Hennessy field and is surely going to tuck over to the rail at some point before this turn. With Uptown Lady the Grey in second for Jim Murray, the horse in front seems to have no interest at all the jockey in getting across to the inside which is rather odd and he's definitely going to prevent it from having such a big lead as he would have done his John Morgan's other one is even wider but his Queen of the Night is in front then getting over the fifth from Uptown Lady second Bring Me Luck is third then Scalio and Habily Activist is after that one they're quite well spread out Queen of the Night is the leader from Uptown Lady over on the far side second. Activist is now moved through into third in the Van Rensburg Blue. Then comes Habily and Bring Me Luck as they take the sixth. Which they're all over okay. One or two of them jumped it a bit slowly, finding Alice out the back. Queen of the Night continuing to lead into this ditch. This is number seven of the 20. Oh, there's a four of there. There's something. A three, three have gone. Nicholas Silver, Mallorca Dreamer, and Games Without Frontier all down at the same fence. So, mayhem at that one. As we lost three there. David Hooley, Patrick Hogan, and me all lost a horse at that one. They get to number eight. And the rest of them are over that one. Okay, sizing tail and finding Alice struggling out the back at the moment. But Queen of the Night is setting the pace, which probably is... Stiffer than it looks as they get over the ninth. And Queen of the Night leads. Sierra Vista Medusa has moved into second. Silent Voices is third. Activist is fourth. Then Hamley Uptown Lady of the Ground. The inside is next. Then Nina Dimaguro. After that one with the lineup getting the first mention. The top weight as they take the water. For the only time. And they're all safely over the water of course. Past the winning post. And now they head out. For one more circuit of the track. And surely Queen of the Night's going to cut across now. She does this time. And gets across to the inside rail. The lead is about four lengths. From Silent Voices in second for Graham Clutterbuck. On the outside, Activist in the blue for Leon Van Rensburg. Then Jim Murray's grey uptown lady, Sierra Vista Medusa in Vinnie Gerard's two shade of green. With Habley after that in Darren Thompson's maroon with white sleeves as they take. Number 11, which they all got over okay. And Queen of the Night continues to lead the... Hennessy Field at this point. From Uptown Lady in second. Silent Voices in third. And then Scally Owen on the outside jumping a bit slowly when it was getting a little bit closer. The field is definitely beginning to bunch up. There's no more than 12 or 15 lengths now. First to last. The horse in last is finding. Let's get a little bit closer. James Shays to dropped out towards the back as well. My place later days and counting Wimmers. They take the 13th. And Queen of the Night in the lead from activist in second then silent voices and sierra vista medusa scally owen on the outside the lineup still getting closer bring me luck is also in there as well as they take the next and all safely over that one 
It's currently a John Morgan 1 2, Queen of the Night, Scally Owen. But the lineup is getting closer to the lead, the top weight as they get over the next. Made a mistake though there, the lineup. And there's a four as well up the woods about. Habley's gone. And Habley out of the race at that one. And Queen of the Night is still the leader. Sizzling Tail is the one who's made really good ground round the outside. Only really bottom weight has come right through from last to move into second. So it's, Sizz it's Queen of the Night in the lead. Sizzling Tail is in second. Scallio in and smell of victory. Then bring me luck. An uptown lady activist is next in the lineup. Silent voices after that one. Sierra Vista Medusa Blossom World is next. Then keep the contract. My place later days. Finding Alice and Counting Wim. And then Nina Dimaguro at the back as they take the 16th. They've just got four to get over there. And it's Queen of the Night, who's still in the lead, bringing the lead all the way. Smell of Victory is in second. Sizzling Tail on the outside, but in a big race, is third. Bring Me Luck is next, they're an activist. They're really beginning to bunch up now behind this leader. There's only really Nina Dimaguro who's out of it. Out of these as they come down towards the final four. This is four from home. Queen of the Night lands in the lead. From in second place, Scally Owen. Then comes Blossom World on the outside in purple. Activist is next. Bring Me Luck, Uptown Lady. Sierra Vista Medusa. This is the final ditch, three from home and over that one they go and it's still Queen of the Night in the lead. Activist is just second. Scally Owen bring me luck then Sierra Vista Medusa Silent Voices Blossom World still plenty of chances with two to get over and Queen of the Night leads. Queen of the Night leads into the second last but a better jump by Activist. Activist now coming through to challenge Queen of the Night and Activist. Scally Owen and Sierra Vista Medusa they're racing down towards the final fence in the Hennessy and it's Activist who's going to lead over it. Activist lands in front but a better jump by Queen of the Night who gets back into the lead and it's Queen of the Night and Activist racing inside the final furlong. Queen of the Night is over on this near side. Activist on the far side just putting its head in front. Queen of the Night battling back. Sierra Vista Medusa and Blossom World coming as well. It's going to be a four-way photo as they flash up towards the line. Sierra Vista Medusa and Blossom World. Sierra Vista Medusa takes it off thing. Blossom World was in the lead a stride or two after the post. And the angle is going to be deceptive so I'm not going to call this one. It looked and they went past the post as though Vinnie Gerrard's horse had won. But Blossom World with a little lunge right on the line. It's got close. And it's Sierra Vista Medusa for Vinnie Gerrard. Blossom World second for David Hooley. Queen of the Night, John Morgan third. Activist for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth and fifth. We've just lost fifth. Fifth has just disappeared. Going to come back in a second, I would think. Maybe. Yep, Smell of Victory was fifth for Leon Van Rensburg. So I think the first six, or oh, the first eight, I think, were all out of a handicap. 